I went polar plunging for a week. A week straight in the middle of February. Oh my God, I'm so scared. Let's do this. We're just gonna do it. Okay. 15 degrees colder than yesterday. Oh my God. <laughs> and we have a special guest. Good morning. I'm so scared. <laughs> Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am telling you all about a challenge I did back in February. I filmed it all through TikTok actually, and I went polar plunging every day for a week straight. I actually went eight days, I think, but we'll get to that. A lot of people have done challenges where they take cold showers for a week or a month, but I live right by the beach. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna go all in. We are going to Polar Plunge instead. And we're gonna just jump right in the ocean and get fully submerged in the cold water. And we're doing this. We're doing this. I'm so scared. <laughs> I've always wanted to Polar Plunge. I could just take cold showers for like a week and overcome that fear and get in the cold water, but I wanna go all in. We are going to Polar Plunge in the ocean today. It's 39 degrees and cloudy and raining in Boston. I'm gonna see how long I can do this. We're polar plunging every day for the undetermined future. I could be the next Wim Hof, who knows? I watched a full video by Yes Theory where they went and did a full session with Wim Hof. He loves the cold. I think he's called, is he called the Iceman? Yeah, he's literally called the Iceman. It says Dutch extreme athlete Wim Hof got his nickname the Iceman by breaking a number of records related to cold exposure, including climbing Mount Kilimanjaro in shorts, running a half marathon above the Arctic Circle barefoot, and standing in a container while covered with ice cubes for more than 112 minutes. So he loves the cold. I watched a full video on him. He will take people through the different breathing exercises that he does, and then they'll fully submerge in water using those breathing mechanisms. So he's really cool. So that's what originally got me interested in the cold. So then I also saw a video by Chloe Kean, and she is a vlogger that lives in Switzerland, and she lives right by a lake, so she was just doing daily dips in the lake. And I think she still does it. And there's a lot of health benefits to it from the research that I read from Wim Hof. It says, cold showers are an essential part of the Wim Hof method. Aside from the mental resilience that a regular cold immersion practice can bring you, other core benefits of cold showers include helps with metabolism, improved circulation, releases endorphins, soothes muscles, and supports the immune system. So when I originally said, you know what, I'm gonna go jump in the ocean, I honestly was not thinking about any health benefits. For me, doing this challenge was something to get me out of my comfort zone. I don't know about you, but the thought of jumping in the cold ocean is not something that excites me necessarily. So for me, it was a chance to try something new outside of my comfort zone, as weird as that sounds, because I don't think anyone would willingly do that, but that's just who I am. I like to try new stuff. I love the quote that learning happens right outside of your comfort zone. Like there's that circle where you're comfortable, you're doing your thing. But when you step out of that circle, that's where you actually start to grow as a person. That's what we were going for. It was a really cool experience. The water, I think on average at the beach that I went to was because this was mid-February, mind you. It was about 40 degrees, but there were a few days that I went that it got down to 25 degrees Fahrenheit, and it was cold. Let's check out day one. Okay, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it! I have some friends with me. It's time. I'm gonna wear my Crocs in. These are Crocs. Oh my God, I'm so scared. Let's do this, we're just gonna do it. Okay, bye. <gasps> we lost a Croc. <sighs> one like equals one little flame of warmth. Oh my God, I feel so good. So that was day one. We were rocking our Crocs. I was nervous going into it, but once you go in and you submerge yourself in the water and you're like, oh, I did it. You get that rush of adrenaline and you're woken up and you feel so much better. Day two was definitely the hardest day just because of how cold it was. It was 25 degrees. It was freaking cold. So let's look at that one. <laughs> Morning. It is day two of me jumping in the ocean. It's 6.30 a.m. right now in Boston. It's gorgeous out. Our weather forecast of the day is that it is 25 degrees and clear. Let's just go jump in the ocean. I will say it's about 15 degrees colder than yesterday. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> we got our Crocs and ready to go. I just got cheered on by some people walking the beach. <laughs> so that's encouraging. Fuck. Let's 
Let's go to the car. <laughs> it was about 15 degrees colder today and I felt that. I felt that a lot. I'm glad I got some support from the lovely people walking the beach. So then on day three, we were getting into the routine. It was actually so weird because I am not a morning person whatsoever. And I've tried getting up early in the morning to go on a walk, to work out, to just get up and spend some time with myself and read. And I just, nothing will motivate me to get out of bed unless I need to get to work or I have plans with a specific person. Like if I say I'm working out with you at 7.30, I will be there. But other than that, nothing was really getting me out of bed on my own. For some reason this entire week, getting up to go jump in the freezing cold ocean I was wide awake, I was ready to go at 6, 6.30 in the morning as the sun was rising. It was so weird because then when I stopped polar plunging, I could not get out of bed again. So that was one weird thing that I realized throughout the week. Good morning, it's day three of me jumping in the ocean and getting out of my comfort zone and I'm still scared every time. It is 27 degrees and about to snow in Boston right now. And I just wanna say thank you to everyone who's following me along on this journey. You don't have to jump in the ocean to get out of your comfort zone or try something new. You can ask a question in class, talk to that person you've been wanting to talk to, apply for that job you've been wanting to apply to, do something that you've been wanting to do, but something's been holding you back. That's my little inspo for the day. We gotta go jump in the ocean, come on. <laughs> The tide was so low that I don't know how far I would have had to have run to reach a good depth. So we just rolled around today. That still works. I'm still cold and wet. It is supposed to snow tomorrow. So we'll see if we get some snow action. Day three. <laughs> that was a funny one. With cold showers, you know where the water's coming from. You're getting the same amount of water. You just have to get under it. The ocean not in your control and me being me i wasn't really checking the tide when i was going so i would just go right in the morning at like 6 6 30 when the sun was rising and jump in thinking that the water would just be high tide ready to go for me day three was not it the tide was so low that i just kept running out and it just got to a point where i was like okay i, I need to get in the cold water so i had to roll around and it was a little muddy too i had to roll around <laughs> in the water so i could say that i successfully polar plunged for that day we decided to spice it up on day four though i was getting a little bored of just going in a simple bathing suit each day so we had a little surprise for day four morning it's snowing out it's, it's literally snowing out right now but we are still polar plunging and i have a surprise for you today i'll show you when we get out there this is officially the most nervous i've been all week here's your surprise <laughs> my butt says bare cheek it is definitely one of my best purchases so i was debating whether i wanted to jump in the ocean with the onesie or not but we put on a bathing suit as well just in case i don't think i want to get this soaking wet God, we did it! <laughs> Yay! That one I had butterflies for since I woke up this morning, but then the minute I ran into the water, I felt good. Day five, didn't check the tide again. We had to roll around a little bit. I will say that it gets a little easier. No matter what, I was still scared every time. Sometimes I would wake up and be anxious because I was like, oh, I need to like. I need to jump in the ocean today. I don't really want to, but every day I was able to get out there and overcome that fear, which made me proud of myself. I'm PMSing, so I just cried for no reason. We have some support with us today. He's actually coming with us on our polar plunge tomorrow, which is exciting. I always go where there's like 10 million birds. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Technical difficulties, I'll discuss when we get back to the car. We did it! Day five is complete. The only problem was that the water was so shallow. We had to roly poly oly again. Shout out to the amazing person that commented that on my other polar plunge. We had to roll around and it was muddy. Are you ready for tomorrow? No. <laughs> I'm so scared. Day six 
was my absolute favorite day because I got Vlad to go with me and Vlad hates the cold. I'm just gonna let the video speak for itself, so enjoy. <laughs> Day six of polar plunging and we have a special guest, my boyfriend Vlad. I really hate the cold. The car is at 90 <laughs> degrees right now. We're gonna polar plunge. I'm happy that I have someone to do it with me today. Let's go. <laughs> this doesn't go viral for my pain and suffering in this moment. I'm gonna be pissed. Wait, are we taking off our clothes now? Yeah, this is the point where you take off your clothes. Come on, you can do it. Say bye to the camera. Bye. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on. Come on. There's no way to go. There's nowhere to go. Oh, he did again. it. Never again. I love you. I'm so proud of you. Love you too. That was terrible. My heart is beating at like 400 miles an hour. I've never ran back to the car faster. Day six is complete. We did it. Vlad and Collie and signing off. Signing off. Vlad hates the cold, as you could tell. But I'm so happy that I did it with him. That was such an hysterical day because the tide was low because Dum Dum over here didn't check the tide. And we, we just had to go and run in and <laughs> roll around. He was like, oh yeah, I totally ran in. I totally got my entire body wet. You can tell he literally sat down and got up. It was just running in the way he was running. The way he ran out of the water was, it was amazing. Oh, so he makes me laugh and I'm glad that he did it with me for a day. I wish we got him on a good high tide day. I, I did start checking the tide after that but then we only ended up doing it for a week anyway so it happens you learn you live and you learn morning it is day seven of polar plunging day seven we made it we did a full week of polar plunging and i finally got my swim cap in the mail i had ordered a swim cap thinking i would have it for the majority of the week because i realized after the first day of polar plunging that i was waking up in the morning and i'm usually a night shower so i was waking up in the morning jumping in the ocean, then having to shower. Well, and then I have to work out too. So I was like, do I work out, then shower? I'm still, I'm like kind of gross and wet from the ocean. Or do I shower from the ocean and then work out and have to shower again? It was a mess. If you're a woman, you know the struggle of trying to figure out when you're gonna shower, when you're gonna wash your hair, and when you're jumping in salt water every day and rolling around in the mud sometimes, you're gonna have to shower and shampoo your hair just about every day that you're doing that. <laughs> We got our swim cap finally. We got a nice neon pink swim cap right on day seven, which was good. And it was the perfect polar plunge day. The tide was high, it was nice morning, and we just, just went right in. We brought ourselves a swim cap for today's dip. <laughs> I've never put a swim cap on, so let's see how this goes. Did I do it? Oh, I think I did it. <laughs> Look at that. So let's freaking do this. Day seven polar plunge, baby. <laughs> I love this. That was an ideal plunge, if I do say so myself. We didn't have low tide, we got right in the water. It's beautiful. Whew. We have officially polar plunged for a week straight. What the heck? That's amazing. I'm proud of myself. I think this might be the end of the polar plunge series, but there will be a lot more fun videos coming your way. I hope you all have a wonderful day. It was so funny because after I had finished my week of polar plunging, really proud of myself, and it was also my birthday coming up, so my friends Becca and Jamie had gotten me a present for my birthday, and I opened it up and it was a customized towel, so it was this nice pink towel with my name colleen personalized on it it was such a thoughtful gift because i knew i was polar plunging and originally i didn't know i was gonna stop in a week i was just gonna see how long i could last for maybe i do two weeks a month you know i didn't know i just kind of started and went for as long as i could go for so i had to do a special eighth polar plunge because it was just so sweet and we did a final eighth Polar plunge. I'm the swim cap back in action. I also couldn't not polar plunge at least one more time because Javia and Becca got me this personalized towel for my birthday that says my name on it.
Not gonna lie, I didn't really miss doing that. I was used to being nice and warm and cozy for the last week. That was nice and refreshing. I got cheered on. We're back at it. Some people's thing is dancing, some is making funny videos, and mine is just jumping in cold water. <laughs> I went polar plunging every day for a week. I encourage you to try something, to challenge yourself, and get outside of your comfort zone. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.